ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. I never said I was an atheist. You know, the presidency is a God-given gift. I am sure God would not have given me the position if I, uh, if I were, I was a bullshit. Uh, I could have made it in life even. The barest that I, before the presidency, without God. But uh, itong obispo ninyo, patay ninyo, wala silbi yung magagong yan. What they do is criticize. Executive Secretary Salvador Medial Dia, Social Welfare and Development Secretary Rolando Joselito Bautista, Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Anio, and the other members of the Cabinet, the Executive uh, Director of the Council for the Welfare of Child Children, Under Secretary Mary Mitch Cahoyonoy, Honorable members of the House of Representatives, the Chief of the Philippine National Police, the 2017 ORDs of Child Friendly Cities and Municipalities, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have a two page uh, speech. And uh, Pag binasa ko to sa gasolina lang pati sa make-up ninyo, hindi makababawi. <laughs> but because I think that the lady who prepared this speech, it's a scripted one and I do not like uh, scripted but just the same. Para naman hindi masayang yung pagod niya. Uh, basahin ko na lang po ang last an ultimate paragraph. <laughs> As our children are the country's future, be assured that the administration will do everything to protect them from violence, abuse, criminality, illegal drugs, and other threats to their safety and well-being. Together, let us strengthen our ties and build new alliances in order to create a safe, enabling, child-friendly environment for the succeeding generations of Filipinos. Congratulations at mabuhay tayong lahat. Now, <clears throat> one of the greatest really uh, drawbacks of this country is that we are not able really to provide uh, health care for the children. Much less for everybody, actually, for short of funds. But we endeavored to pass a law that would give them uh, free m medical uh, attention in hospitals. Uh, we have established the malasakit uh, thing all over to give priority to those who are urgently in need of uh, medical attention. Uh, this has been true ever since. It is this historical narrative of this country that we fall short on everything. And even hunger, the highest is in Mindanao, the arm. So, nung una pa lang, sinabi ko kay... Nung dating uh, welfare secretary, DWD, to concentrate doon sa lugar na gotom ang mga bata. But unfortunately though, it was part or so if uh, parang an arrangement where I could uh, maybe in the process of confidence building, uh, I showed them the sincerity of government that we are willing to share not power, but the, the benefits of uh, how a working cabinet uh, cooperating with each other can help all Filipinos, irrespective of their ideology. Turned out sour, 
and most of the money given, supposed to be given to the Pantawid Gautam, found uh, their envelopes in the camps of the military. So I had to, well, I did not, but it was Congress, because uh, Congress also has a report of that uh, from the military and the police, and uh, Congress decided to just turn down their confirmation of their appointments. Uh, ang ano ko kasi dyan is, uh, Tigualo is good, might, might be brilliant, might be have the highest IQ, but you do not bring in an ideology that carries with it an armed struggle to seize power of governments. So, isang bagay yan na we're trying to sort out, but I do not think that I am ready. I have communicated to our peace uh, negotiators. Doresa is out of the cabinet, so that leaves uh, Belio, who is really a communist also. Uh, and uh, si Nani Braganza. Well, I could tell him, mean, uh, he, he swings to, to that group ever since. So I respect him because we were dorm mates. Uh, Dulay and Bilyo was in front of my room when I was with uh, a roommate who was talking in English all the time, early morning. <laughs> and uh, it uh, went all the way until we became cabinet members. And so when he was due for confirmation, he was there and speaking all the way. And, uh, and so the congressmen and senators began to wonder, uh, is this guy from here? Well, he seems to be... Americano pala talaga ang buang eh. But I didn't know. But from where of I was really talking, I could understand, yes, I... He was my roommate. He was one of those with Llewellyn Ortega. And were nearly arrested, uh, hid in the dormitory. Uh, uh, in the and then he went to America to seek sanctuary. And uh, he was there with Maceda to set up a law office and thereafter prospered while we suffered here. But anyway, uh, ang gusto kong ipadala sa inyo, it stares at was eyeball to eyeball. One of the first things that I must really do is to protect the people and preserve this nation. So I am battling so many fronts. I'm battling the ISIS as uh, the Abu Sayyaf and they are the extremists, they know nothing except to kill and destroy. Then I have a, a revolution that is motivated by territoriality, and maybe that would include, you bear, because it's seldom that I can talk to a crowd like this, and gathered, na ma-articulate ko yung nasa puso ko. Total, kung mag-abot tayo ng alas gis dito, may pagkain man. <laughs> Dagdagan lang ninyo kasi double the gotom yan eh. <laughs> the stomach is only ready for merienda but uh, you add another three hours, you need uh, some sort of uh, more carbohydrates and start cooking please. Listen up. <laughs> Ganito yung ano. Ang droga started much earlier, and that was about when I was even a prosecutor. That would be 1988 below. And that has always been, as a trial lawyer, prosecuting people for drugs. I have encountered so many heartaches along the way. Evidence... Uh, are missing, uh, 
my witnesses are not reporting, and sometimes, to my horror, the powder that I'm using to induce in court, as our evidence turns out to be tawas. At that time, corruption was already there. And I'm not going to zero in on the police because a lot of people in the civilian sector are into it, even mga mayors. Yung mga mayors nandito, hindi kasali yan. <laughs> Ang mababait siya, kasi ang mayor nagago ang putang hindi magpunta dito yan. But the last time I called for them, I closed at sinabi ko talaga si nagprangkahan ako, putang ina ninyo, pag pumasok kayo sa droga, papatayin ko kayo. Prangka-prangka. So with the governors, tanongin ninyo governor ninyo. Pero more or less, it was a linear crowd. Pero ganun ko rin sinabi. Do not ever, ever with drugs because mamamatay ka talaga. Alam mo, let me illustrate to you how it can destroy society. You know, you want to destroy a friend, or you don't destroy an enemy, all you have to do is make the son or daughter or grandchild an addict. And that family automatically becomes disoriented, dysfunctional. Ang problema exponentials kasi hindi mo talaga manaman kung ano. If he will commit a crime, if he's a, a poor guy, when the, he, he has the cold turkey, the monkey is riding on his back, wala siyang pera, he will resort to crime. Ang unang mawawala ninyo, as you all know by now, kasi may kilala kayo, alam ko, unang mawala sa inyo, gasol. Si, ay, so sigurado na, tara niyo, gasol, yung mga reserva, lahat, electric fan, TV, pati kotse. Huwag na lang tayo magbulahan. Hindi naman ako gago na may sungay na papatayin ang kapwa ko tao. Kung hindi mo rin papatayin, yung mga tao na sinabi ko, my duty is to preserve this nation and protect the people. That's about my... In two sentences, that's my duty. Ito, wala ito. Alam, mag-create ka lang ng isang siyabok ng anak. I don't know if uh, meron dito, meron. Sira talaga ang pamilya. Ngayon, kung ang tatay ang tinamaan puro Diyos, hindi na magtrabaho, cannot work anymore, cannot function, is malnourished, hindi kumakain. Kaya nung nakita mo, pag upo ko in the first three months, critical, Nakita mo nag-surrender. Ang sabi ni Santiago noon was 3 million. Sabi ni Bato, 1.6 million. Filipino, or Filipinos, reduced to slavery, to a drug called Shabu. And they are in hotel for the rest of their lives. So pag hindi na makatrabaho yan, He is there in stupor. Tukay mo na kay inaantok ako. Sinong may marijuana diyan? <laughs> Alam mo medya ka pagkabugok talaga ng media. You know, during the ASEAN in the Philippines, I just came from India. So I just if you are so sleep, I landed in Davao then took a flight dito. Sabi ko, ako yung presiding officer. Sabi ko, ang may kopya ka pa ba dyan sa yung program namin sa ano? Put, 
yung program namin sa mga ASEAN, ASEAN, itong mga gagong sekretariat na ito, and uh, Bong, I hope that we can improve on it, uh, magkumpisa kami ng 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 30, break, 1.30, 2.30, hanggang alas 10, alas 11 ng hap, gabi, anak ka nang sabi ko, anong tingin niyo sa amin, Boy Scout? <laughs> Tal- talaga nagkalit niya ng ganun, lalo nung ASEAN. Eh, sabi ko, I was so sleepy, ito nang niya sabi ko, kaya nag, 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 ano ako ng marijuana? Kung hindi kayo gago, I was presiding over uh, the plenary, mag-hit-hit ako ng marijuana. Pagka ganon, when it is too ridiculous, it must be a joke. Pumapatay nga ako, <laughs> tapos ngayon ako pa. So, just to lighten a dull moment, pero mo doon. Lahat kami natutulog, ang, ang recording na lang ang buhay. <laughs> Wala. Silent naman for uh, interspersed with silence. Uh, kasi natutulog. Una si Bulkia, ako ang sunod. Nakaganon. Ta- eh, ako galing ang India eh. Wala pa masyadong, I mean, I do not want to insult India. Pero ako ang mag-travel, totoo yan. Ah, yan dyan sila buhay mo yan lahat. Pati si, si Chief Police. Mag, magpunta ako sa labas, magbaon talaga ako ng karne norte, pati tuyo. Kasi bisaya ako. Hindi ako pwede pag hindi maalat. That's genetics for the Visayan. Kaya yung cook ninyo, di ba kung may magkain, ang cook ninyo bisaya, ano? I'm not trying to insult my oh, bisaya. Kasi kutawin niya ng ano, tapos gano'n eh ng... <laughs> Dikma mo na, kutawin, galing sa ano. Tapos pag sabi na sa ball, gano'n eh. Oh, gano'n. So yun ang ano ko sa kawawa yung mga bata. The dysfunction is just to one million. Sinong human rights dito? Masakal kita po itong. Sinong human rights dito? Ang dysfunction yan, grabe. Hindi na makapag-aral ang mga anak. Karamihan dyan ay kung asawa, bata, ang pamaglalaki para lang mabuhay. Hindi nang tatrabaho ang ulul eh. Kasi wala na yan sila. They just sit in one corner the whole day. Tsaka maghingi. Pag ayaw magbigay ng asawa ng pira, binobogbog. Magpunta sa nanay, binobogbog ang nanay. Ang, ang, ang ilan yan? Now, let me draw a contrast. Sabi nila, pumapatay daw ako ng tao. Hindi ako pumatay tao, tiga imbalsama lang ako. Putang ina nila. <laughs> ang, 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 wala na ang bata. Ang one million six, even if you place it at one hundred, then you begin to be melodramatic about the whole thing. At sabihin nila may nakita dyan na kabulagta, then they would just assume that an ex-judge judicial killing. Inaadbita na nga ni Albayalde na 4,000 plus eh. And that is a figure which I am bound because that is the trabaho of uh, my tao ko, polis ko yan eh. So I have to admit what they say to me. Sabihin mo 70,000 pati yung nag- rivalry ng babae o yung hindi nag... Alam mo, karamihan dyan, hindi mag-remit. Kaya hindi mag-remit, yung takbuhin na yan. Papatayin ka talaga niya. That's the rule. Now, 
sabi mo, what? 20,000? Yung nasubra na na. O, sana ba, bitch? 20,000, and look at the dislocation of my country. It is destroying my country. One million six slaves is not a joke to me. And hindi lang yan siya, it's not a matter of those who killed or who, who died, but how about this? He might live, but look at the dysfunction he creates for all of us. He's a potential criminal, he does not work, the children are not floating, nowhere to go. Is that the way I will allow my country to happen? Kaya sabi ko, putang, I will kill you. My God, I will really kill you. Hindi yan sila. Ako. Kaya papuntahin mo yung fiscal dyan, yung putot na maitim. Sampalin ko yung putang inang isa pa. Diba? Sabi lang nila, oh, here is a list of uh, who those who died. Ganun niya nga, 70,000. What's the f- 70,000? They do not explain where did it happen, what was the cause, whether it was drug or it was an outright uh, killing. When? Tapos sabihin mo, how? Was he kneeling down? Or was he shot uh, with the back turned against the aggressor? Wala, basta sinabi lang, patay. Tapos, he want me to go to that idiotic court, ICC. Buang. And what is that court, by the way? Who created it? Did we participate in the selection of the judges? Sino yung mga putang inang taga Europe dyan na mas marunong pa sa atin? Who are the prosecutor? And even their chairman's uh, commission on human rights, ang chairman nila comes from a country who does not believe in democracy. It's autocratic. Mabuti, nala nakaintindihan kami ni King, King George and si Abdullah. Eh, do not listen to that idiot. You're not even democratically elected and you want me to stand in a court that's a creation of it. You must be an idiot. Hindi ko alam kung sino yung saan yung kinuha yung mga for all you know. Kaya tapos takot-takotin ako nitong sila. No? And during the, kita mo naman yung sabi, I... I, um, International Court of Justice, I'll be brought there. It just keep silent. And you know, truthfully, honestly, candidly, I had the only one who had thought of the defense. So when the time came, sinabi ng ulol na pagong, I should see a psychiatrist. Gusto ko ng birahin. Ito naman si Spiron, si Kitaris ba Wag, 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 Rod. Eh, bakit, sir? Sabi niya kay si Jordan, bigyan tayo ng dalawang helikopter na kubra. At totoo naman, pagpunta ko sa Jordan, pinakita talaga ng King of Jordan. Ano yung tanong to? Do not believe in that fucking relative of mine. So, ang may sabi, I quote him publicly. Now, I do not listen to that... Kita mo, kita mo, ang maghusga sa akin is not even elected by the people. He has not passed a, 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 a judgment of, of his peers to set this up. Gago. Nakita mo naman ang sitwasyon. But what really pains me is this. I know some of you will be cynical. Ah, the drama na yan si Presidente. Make it more uh, melodramatic nga. Well, for whatever it 
however it arrives to you. Hindi ko talaga matiis yung, you know, we have millions of our poor countrymen and their wives go to the Middle East in droves. Alam natin at alam ko early on when I was mayor because I went to Saudi Arabia to plead a case for a girl, Tagadabaw, because she was in prison for distributing rosaries. So naawa ako kasi yung nanay, pati ang tatay, matanda na. Every day nandyan sa labas ng gate ko. Early morning. Every day. Kaya sabi ng asawa ko, Baptist yan eh. Sabi niya, do something about it. Kung wala kang maitulong, ipasa mo yan sa taong makatulong. So parang ako na ano, sabi ko, I'll go to, I'll go to Saudi Arabia. So King Faden was a bit, uh, I, I, I think, I would not characterize as what. Medyo mahirap na i-connect. But you know, uh, there is a God. He was able to listen a bit and maybe it was using a lucid interval. Pumayag siya. But chief minister of that court, uh, of that uh, royal uh, palace there said, you better talk to your counterpart. Since I was a member of the Law and Order Committee of Goles, so I was the one who was there. Sabihin mo sa kababaya, sabi niya, that not all may edukado na aral, but on the average, when you are a slave, bought from the slave markets of Africa, or a paid servant, rape is part of the territory. Kaya malakas ang bintahan ng pills doon coming from Europe. Ipasok sa refrigerator, bukpugin, hampasin, and gamitin ng amo, gamitin ng anak, gamitin ng saniglo, linisa niya yung bahay ng amo niya, yung daughter ino niya, isa-isang daughter pa niya, tapos pakainin ng basura. How many Filipinos? Ilan na nabasa ninyo? Tumatalo na lang sa bintana. What does that indicate? Insanity because they can no longer endure or bear the human degradation, and maybe the total loss of dignity. Kaya ako, putang ina, kumukulo talaga ang dugo ko. You know why? Yan sila, mahirap. How many times have you read or saw on TV? Mag-alis, ibigay lang nila doon sa kapatid nila. Alam mo naman, a child, a child, but you know, pag marami rin niyang anak, wala ito. Or yung uba, the worst, walang kila, iiwan nila sa kapitbahay nila. Iiwan nila sa lolo nila. Nakatanda rin kung natay ka. So, the family is totally destroyed. Dysfunctional kasi yung lalaki, you know the human frailty the physical needs. Magkaliwaan niya. Kaya karamihan dito pagbalik hiwalay. Especially kung marinig na niya yung kung anong nangyari sa asawa niya being trampled upon. Ang lalaki mawalaan ang gana niya. I'm telling you, the male ego, ayaw na niyang galawin niya. So karamihan niya magbababae rin. Kita mo ang pistol. Ang siya. Tapos yung mga anak niya, she endured rape, beatings, sodomy, or whatever. Tiisin niya yan. 
hoping that the money she could send to her children can study. Alam mo, pwede man tayo. What's your average? Ang may bata. Alam mo yung mga dyan sa tondo. Gagunan yung salin niya. Hanggang bumigay yung bata. Bigay ng bata. So pagbalik ng nanay, three years hence, makita niya. Everything is in shambles. Putang ina mo. Papatahin talaga kita. Papatahin. I go to prison. I will go to prison. I spend time in jail. Fine. I'm 73. How much time do I have in this? I will dedicate my imprisonment for my countrymen. Ano ba na? Basta maputol ko lang kayo. Or, an eye for an eye. An eye tooth for it. Putang ina mo. Ginawa mo miserable ang kapwa ko. Gagawain rin kitang kapangkay. Let's check ka. You want me? TV. Makinig kayo Pilipino. Talagang yayariin ko kayo. You want to live human rights, you want to stop this goddamn uh, sad part of our history, you just tell them to drop shabu. Rebels, you drop the gun and we will go. Uh, ditong komunista, I'm no longer ready to talk to you. I've done it before. Magmuka lang tayong gago. You insult me, I insult you. Para tayong bata. Huwag ka lang umuwi dito. I promise you, I'll slap you. Pag pinilit mo sa airport, umuwi ka dito, putang ina mo, sampalin kita talaga sa iyo. Pakain ko yung pustiso mo, litse ka. Putang ina itong mayabang ka, mo kung sino. Kung magsalita. Kala mo naman, abogado, ma-sprite pa sa iyo. Ang binabasa, what is this Bible? You, 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 you idiots there, mga ideologue. What is your Bible? Mao Chitong, Lenin, Trotsky. Tapos, from one convoluted brain, maniniwala kayo dyan, kay Kiso, Kiso. Just add to it, you know, if you want to transform this country, you have to do it by evolution. It cannot be revolution. Dahan-dahan lang. Kaya even if you crucify me today, I can do nothing about the economy. Why? Ito maas yung oil eh. So what's the fucking shit? This shit is, right after the war, Everybody was into discovering natural resources of their country. I don't know about God, but by my God has a common sense. I, pero he, he gave oil to Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei. He never gave us oil. So pagbira ng, you know, itong America keeps on, binibira niya yung Iran. Yung Iran naman, Pataas pa baba. So every time the oil price increases, lahat yan, hatakan na. What you see in this world is oil. Magtingin ka lahat. Ang tao lang dito ang hindi oil. Ang paggawa siguro, BB oil. Pang slide. No, you can make this thing work if there is no machine. And what does, ma where does it get power? The machine? From oil. Bunker. Meron kang dam, well, but sa ngayon, wala. You want, 
Yung simento na tinatapak, kung sapatos, mga pantalon, they come from machines. So, why do they get the power to run them? Pati ito, glass and everything. It's all oil. Hindi e, binigay sa atin eh. Well, otherwise, sila, kay pag-increase, magsabi sila, wag muna. Kasi may buffer tayo. Ito mga ulo na to, hindi ginagamit yung oil nila. Sige sila import, but at the time when there's an emergency, yun ang buffer nila. Tayo, wala. Kaya yung economy natin really suffers. They're much better in Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei. Because, isa pa, except for Indonesia, they believe in family planning. Itong dito, what is really the gridlock is ang simbahan ng Katoliko. It's the most hypocritical institution. Kita ko sabi ni Pope, if we cannot be celebrated, get out. Lahat naman halos, 90% ng mga pare. Wala. Ako, bakla man ako noon. So, bakla man yan sila lahat. Tingnan mo, pick up yun yan eh. Ni Rappler pati ni Inquirer. Ni President is a homo. Hindi ako kasi ayaw ko kasi mag-insulto. Di isali mo na lang ako. Para mag-aano yung reception ng dibdib mo. Sabi ko kami ang unang biktima, pati ito mga bishop sige daldal. The Catholic faith destroyed us when we were in high school. Sabihin ko sa inyo kung sino ako Si Dominguez, kababata ko yan. Valediktorya, kindergarten hanggang high school. Tiso yan, pero madali, mamula yan. Ayawang ko, anong uh, ginago. Pero matawagin, ay mga pare, makinig kayo. Uh, what are your sins, my son? Ay, di, ano pa? What? You know, father, uh, come on, come on, come on. We not have the whole day. I went to the room of the... Why? Because I wanted to see what's inside the... Cryptic na lang kayo. Cryptic, yeah. And I, I look, yeah, and then, and then, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> what did you do there? The inevitable. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what Or uh, there were priests that uh, they were gay, pero. I don't know, some of you, contemporary ko sa... Tinaw di Davao kami. Father Leonard, he was my idol. He was a Jesuit, but he was an intellectual. Yung si... Father... Sino ka yung gago niyan bong? Ito, kumot rin ito. Sino yung Father Palbi? Mark. Tingnan mo sa ano. Tignan mo dyan sa ano, Mark Falvey. Jesuit. He was the priest who was sued yung archdiocese ng LA paid 25 million para mariglo. Look at his assignment there sa biodata niya. Ateneo, Mindanao. Tignan niya sa Kaya ako paglabas ko sa ano, I was a bit uh, uh, 
Marami nang nawala na ano na ako pretended or imagined. Hindi mo rin ako talaga. Maranaman ako. Want... We have a book sa, about the Maranaman. You'll see there the name of my mother. Uh, mother to, married to my father. So, yan ang ano ko, lamentations ko sa bahay. And also, itong mga mag-kidnap na magpatay. No? Don't, don't force my hand into it. Ayaw ko. So, sabihin ko sa mga pare, sabihin mo sa mga putang inang yan, huwag mag gumawa. Kasi para hindi tayo magka You know, this is a democracy. You're free to do it. You can walk around and have shabu in your pocket, selling it. Diba, mag magkita tayo ng isang kanto, ah, barilan yan. Sigurado. Yan ang gusto kong loto na yung panihapon. <laughs> Wala pang alasay. Magmirinda lang kayo. Okay ang mirinda. Still hot. Do I have another awarding? Maraming awarding ngayon. You might also join there para Sino itong award ko ngayon? OFW. Ah, OFW. Yung una, ano, tawa yan sila. Kaya sabi ko yun nga, kaya ako pumapatay ng tao dahil dyan eh. Yung, isipin mo na lang. The, the hardship, the torture, the rape, the loss of... The... Kaya putang ina tumatalon sa bintana, iyawa. Kaya yung protection ng children will always be there. Wala na tayo. Yung may tama na, wala na. I'm doing it as a, to preserve the nation so that the Filipino would come after us, yung mga anak ng apoko. Kaya kailangan tapusin natin itong... I'll try to finish. I'm not promising, but uh, we are all agreed, the police and the armed forces. We will try to finish it, and I will be harsh. And there might be really widespread violence, but uh, I am prepared for that. If that is the only how to do it, then if we have to die, then so be it. We die. After all, uh, we, are, we should be in heaven. Uh, see Richard, ba? Sigurado yan siya? Ma malangit yan siya. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, just even allowing me to give time to, to for you to listen to me. But lahat uh, yan, it comes from the heart. And uh, with all sincerity, what I say here is what will happen. And the rule has always been, so be Thank you, and good luck. Maraming salamat po, mahal na Presidente, sa inyong makabuluhang mensahe. Sa punto pong ito ay inaanyanyahan po namin ng Pangulong Duterte para sa photo session kasama si na Secretary Bautista, Secretary Anya at Executive Director Kahayon Uy. Maari lamang pong sundin natin ang pagkakasunod-sunod. Sa batch 1 po ang council board members and CWC council board members. Ang batch 1, ang CWC council board members at ang kanilang alternate representatives.
Mag-prepare na po yung batch 2 natin. Yung heads and senior representatives of the national government agencies and NGO partners. Thank you po sa ating batch 1, the CWC Council Board members and their representatives. Okay. Ang batch 2 po natin, ang heads and senior representatives of the national government agencies and NGO partners. Uh, Secretariat, can you please help? Batch 2 po, pakipasok na. Please. Maraming salamat po. You may exit at your left. Sa left side po. Please exit at your left. Ang batch 3 po, ang CWC Secretariat together with the RSCWC. Secretariat including the regional directors. Maraming salamat po. Maring na po tayong lumabas. Salamat. Exit to your left side. Maraming salamat ulit po sa CWC Secretary, including our regional tech staff and our RSCWC chairperson. At dito po nagtatapos yung ating photo op. Maraming salamat po, Pangulong Duterte. Okay. Once again, dito po nagtatapos ang Gawad Parangal para sa 2017 Presidential Award for Child-Friendly Municipalities and Cities. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, Pangulo, at patuloy nating isulong sa buong bansa ang mga advokasiya para sa mga bata na katulad ko. Muli ako po si Dan Cuesta at lagi po nating tatandaan, bata man ay may mga karapatan din, ito'y ating kilalanin. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang Pilipinas.